Hello, guys. Oh, I'm just seeing it's dark in here. Okay. I thought I was going to be able to get away without putting my ring light on, but obviously not. So hold on. There we go. It's so bright when I put it on, so I prefer not to have it on. I wish I could turn like the overhead light on in here, but it just makes me look orange and like you can't really see the um, project as well. So how's everyone doing today? I'm Amy with Lulu Bean Designs. My allergies are driving me nuts. So my eyes are watering and my, um, uh, sorry, and I'm hot because I just literally got done um, in the shower and like putting makeup on and stuff like that. So I'm like, now I'm been crazy running around and I'm hot. So <laughs> I need to sit here and cool off. So I've got my little fan running. So if you see my hair like blowing around, it's my fan. Um, so welcome. Um, we are uh, painting another fun little project today. So I'm glad you guys are joining me. If you're just coming in, please um, say hello and tell me who you are and where you're watching from. Um, we are broadcasting both here in the um, globe. No, I'm sorry, here on my page on Facebook as well as YouTube. So some people are watching from YouTube. I'm sorry, my eyes are watering. It might be the fan that's causing that. Um, so we are painting another one of the bonus files this week that I'm offering um, if you join SVG Clubhouse. Um, all week long, we are talking about my membership group. It is open this week for new members. So we only open a few times a year and um, we opened uh, yesterday and we will be open through Sunday and then we're going to close the doors and we're not opening again until fall. So if you want to join, you need to join during that time. But I'm offering bonus incentives for joining earlier in the week. Yesterday, if you joined, you got five bonus files. Today, if you join, you get four bonus files. So every day that you wait, one bonus goes away. There are still plenty of awesome bonus files um, available. So don't fret. Um, one of them is the one we're going to paint today. And this is a patriotic door hanger. Um, so some of y'all are probably already members. If you're not a member and you're not familiar with SVG Clubhouse, it is my private membership group. Um, what we do is every month members get four exclusive files. So if you have a laser or Glowforge um, and you like to make projects, um, these files are designed specifically to fit in the Glowforge bed. So don't worry that you're gonna have to resize things, move things around. Um, fiddle with your pass-through door, you're not going to have to do any of that with these files. So that's kind of one of the advantages. If you're a newbie, if you're a beginner and you struggle with that with some of the files you purchase, um, then this will help you to navigate that um, a little bit. I'm not seeing any comments, so I hope that, um, I hope y'all aren't commenting and I can't see. So if you're on and you're watching, please comment and let me know because I see absolutely nothing at all. So I'm hoping that's not just a Facebook glitch. Um, so the membership group is $15 a month. It's a phenomenal deal. For $15, like I said, you get four exclusive files every month. They, When I say exclusive, what that means is that, um, oh good, hey Melissa, how are you? Welcome. And Sandra, thank y'all so much. I was kind of worried. I'm like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to answer questions. Um, hey Tracy, how are you? So um, some of the ladies who are watching, I know y'all already know all about this. You're probably getting tired of me talking about it, but we are going to be talking about it this week. And then I promise I'll get back to the regularly scheduled um, topics of conversation during my lives. Um, but I just want to make sure that nobody misses out. Nobody misses the opportunity to join. Um, so back to the back to what it includes. <laughs> it includes those four files. But what I mean by exclusive is that I'm not going to be selling them in my Etsy shop. So I, I'm never going to sell them in there. They're only member files. If you join and you see that there were some files in the past couple months before you were a member, you can purchase those files as a bundle. They are $20 for the month. Um, and then the bonus files, if I ever offer bonus files, like this one today is a bonus file, then I offer those in packages as well. And those usually contain more than four files. Like this one's going to be five files and that's going to be 25. But the membership itself is only $15 a month and you get um, those four files every month. In addition to that, you get 50% off all of the files in my Etsy shop. So if you like my files and you purchase a lot of my files in, in my Etsy shop, it truly is a, is a phenomenal deal because you're going to be able to purchase all my files from now on with 50% 50, uh, 50% off every file in my shop. Um, so you get a coupon code every month to be able to do that. You can purchase as many as you want. Um, we also 
offer the marketing photos for all of the projects. So if you um, are one of those people who likes to have photos, like when you purchase a file, you enjoy the fact that it comes with the photo of like the, um, the project blank as well as painted. All of the files in my um, membership group are include the marketing photos. So those photos are already in there for y'all for all of the June files this month. If you join, everything is ready for you. All the files, all the, um, the marketing photos. I do, like I said, I photograph them blank and stage them for you. And then I photograph them painted. Um, so they are in there as well. So you've got all that. You get a live paint party every month. So I go live once a month and paint a project for you all. And you can join me and paint along with me. And we can chit chat and all of that. Um, it's just a wonderful community of laser crafters. Um, everyone in there is so nice. You can hop in at any time and ask questions about your project. If you're struggling with your machine, your settings, whatever, you can hop in there and ask questions and get your question answered pretty quickly. Um, you can always message me if you have any problems, but um, that's basically the gist of it. So you get all of that for 15 a month. And like I said, we're open right now. The link is in the video description. So you can click up there and you can join. Um, but every day that you wait, you lose a file. So um, just so I'm clear, you get the four exclusive files every month. Okay, so this is June. So when you join, you get the four June files. The What I'm painting today is a bonus file. So these are extra files that you get for joining. Okay, I only offer this during the, the periods that I open for new members. So this is one of the bonus files. So if you join today, there are four bonus files left. So that means eight files for you, all four of the June files, and then the four remaining bonus files will be yours. They will come in your email, right? As soon as you join, you will get all of that sent to you in your email. Everything is in there. Now, the marketing photos for the bonus files, okay? Those I am adding as I paint them this week. So I have all the blank ones in there, but as I paint them, I'm gonna be adding the painted photos, okay? So, um, and if you're in my membership group and you can't find the photos, um, the photos for the blank, I can't talk, the photos for the bonus projects, um, they are in the album section of the group, okay? So all Facebook groups have a place where people can put photos, okay? And that section is called albums. Sometimes it's under something called media. Okay, so meet, you click media, then you click albums. It really depends on if you're watching from a phone, an iPad, a, a laptop, what have you. Um, sometimes it says albums, sometimes it says photos, sometimes it says media, it's just weird. But anyway, that is where those photos are. They are all categorized by month in there ready to go. So, okay, I'm rambling on. I have, <clears throat> sorry, I can't get myself together today. So I'm quarter after one. Have to be off here at two o'clock because I have a dermatology appointment. My son and I both do. So I've got to get this project painted. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Now, this um, file, whenever, this is a door hanger. Whenever I do a door hanger, in my membership group, I give it to you in two sizes. So you get an 18 inch and you get a 10 inch. Um, that is so if you don't want to use a pass through door, if you don't have a pass through door, if you just want to make a small version of the project, you can make the 10 inch version. Okay, you don't have to resize it yourself. I am making the 18 inch version. Okay. Um, but that is, you know, that's up to you. And also, by the way, um, oh, sorry, let me not skip around. Let me let me get started on this. I'm gonna show you something. So um, this is my backboard that I painted yesterday, um, or I don't know, yesterday, the day before. I painted this um, for one of my other door hangers, and I stained it. I didn't really stain it. I did like my, my faux um, uh, cheater method where I take paint and I dilute it and I do it with a baby wipe. So this is already done. Um, the backboard that comes with this uh, file is smooth, okay? But... I am probably going to grab this other one that I've already got over here because I kind of like the stain better and I like the um, the lines on it. So I may put mine on a shiplap round. I don't know, but I just wanted to show you I've got both of those here. But the file, this file comes with a smooth one, just so you know. Um, there are others in the, the group that are shiplap lines. I hope I'm not like totally confusing y'all. All right, we are going to paint... I love this font. Isn't this cute? The stars word. Um, I want to paint it blue, but I'm kind of debating. I'm thinking, I think there's enough paint in here. This is Waverly chalk paint. It is, oh dear, I have my glasses, ocean. 
So we're going to paint, I think we're going to paint these letters ocean blue because I really like this blue color when I used it the other day. Let me see what size paintbrush I want to do. I need to get some new paintbrushes. My paintbrushes are looking rough. Thank you, Melissa. She says, awesome deal. Joyce, you're very welcome um, for explaining everything. I hope I'm explaining it and not totally confusing y'all. Making it worse. I probably should just have used my other blue paint because this one's all clumpy, but I love this color. All right, I'm going to just try to do it right out of the jar. We'll see how this works. This is a little, a little clumpy. I've got my brush all clumped up with paint. So I'm sorry if y'all hear my fan buzzing. Like I said, I'm about to burn up. I've got the AC cranking. I don't know why. I just got hot getting ready and running around. And then I had groceries delivered. Y'all know I do Instacart. I love my Instacart grocery delivery. So, of course, I try to time it so that it will show up at a certain time. And I'm not complaining because it was early, but of course it showed up like right as, as soon as I was getting ready to go live. <laughs> and um, I had stuff that needed to go in the freezer. So I was running around trying to get that put away. Um, my sister is coming over for supper tonight with her family and we are gonna um, mess with the garden. We have a vegetable garden, so we're going to go out there and do a little weeding, and we're just, we're just doing pizzas. Um, my husband and I have been trying to eat healthier, and we bought this cauliflower pizza from Costco. Have y'all ever had that cauliflower pizza? Milton's, I think, is the brand. It is really good. Um, you kind of can't tell it's cauliflower. It's, it's good. So this is just a pretty, like, kind of medium blue color. You can't really tell very well on camera. Um, when I get done, I always take pictures. So I'll post a picture later. My eyes are watering so bad. I might have to turn that fan off. It's making it worse. Tracy says she's sweating in Florida. I'm sure you are sweating in Florida. It's hot enough in Virginia. I can't imagine going further south. It's not even hot outside today. I don't know. I just got hot in here. It's been hot. We had some hot days. We've kind of had weather like all over the place lately. We had, it was cold over the weekend. All right, I'm going to turn this fan off because I cannot, I cannot take my eyes water and it's driving me nuts. Okay, that's better. I use mostly deco art acrylic paint, but I love my Waverly chalk paint and I have a bunch of it and I forgot I had it. So I've been trying to pull it out um, lately and use some of it before it like totally dries up and is no good anymore. Tomorrow is a really fun file y'all. Um, so if you join today, then you also get, you know, the, the bonus files for the rest of the week. Um, if you've already joined, then you should have gotten your email that has all the bonus files in it. But tomorrow we're going to be painting something really fun and different. And it's probably going to be a little bit longer of a live video. Um, but I made a tablescape file. So um, I showed y'all a picture the other day of the blank um, project, but basically what it is the the design is sunflowers. So my tablescape files, I'm going to start making, um, those for different holidays and different times of year, but it includes, um, a napkin ring, a place card holder with a place card and a centerpiece box. So it's like a box that you can assemble with, um, I don't know if those are called tongue and groove. I don't know what they're called. But anyway, you can assemble the box and make a centerpiece that can hold like flowers and things like that. But the whole set um, is sunflowers. And it's really pretty. And it's going to be really fun to put together. So I'm excited about that. And I have plans to make more tablescape files. Um, I'm going to do definitely do a fall 
and Christmas one. And then um, I'm thinking that it would be fun to do a Halloween one as well. So I will probably do that. All right. I think that is good with one coat. I keep seeing like little spots. Like I said, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm trying not to miss spots. Um, oh no, it's too hot to run your Glowforge. That's no fun. Uh, let's see. So this one, I'm definitely going to paint that with my Posca pen, which might take a little longer, but it just helps me not get paint down on the sides of my letters because I do not paint the sides. That is way too tedious for me. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just a mess, y'all. My nose is running. My eyes are watering. I'm a mess today. I've got the little dot on the eye here. Get that with some paint. Um, oh gosh, Tracy, how hot is it there? Is it over 100? It's not that hot here. I should not be complaining. Definitely not that hot. I don't even think the AC is running right now. I had, we like to open our um, windows whenever we can. And I actually had the door to the screen porch open until around 11. And then I had to close it because my dog and my cat like to basically, um, have a choice as to whether they want to be in or out. They like to be able to come and go. And my cat doesn't even go outside. He just goes on the screen porch. But they love to be able to go out on the screen porch. And they are so funny. My cat cannot make up his mind. If you shut the door to the screen porch and you sit on the screen porch, he's going to sit there at the door and look at you. And then if you open the door and you let him out and you shut the door, he's going to turn around and sit at the door and look at the door to get back in. I mean, seriously, he wants the door open. He wants to have the choice. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's too hot or cold to, to do that. So, yeah, <laughs> animals are so funny. And then they like to lay right in the doorway with the door open. All right, we'll let that dry and we'll do a second coat of that. And then I'm gonna paint, so these are three little pinwheels and I'm gonna paint the sticks white. The little, you know, little stick thingies that you hold them. And you could do lots of different things with these pinwheels. Um, I might do some polka dots on them. If I have time. Hopefully, yeah, I think I have time. This is why I like painting door hangers instead of tiered trays. Because tiered trays um, take so much longer. I feel like I can whip a door hanger out in not as much time. All right, so these are the little um, centers that go in the pinwheels. I'm just painting them white as well. So y'all, I was talking about how in the membership group, how all the files are, are made for um, Glowforge bed. They, they work with any laser, of course, a bigger laser as well, but they are sized so that if you have a Glowforge, you don't have to do resizing. Everything is, within the range of the Glowforge bed, which is nice. Um, my tiered tray files, every month, one of the files that you get is a tiered tray file. So if you like tiered tray files, then you really should join because it is, um, that is something that you get every month for sure. You get definitely get a tiered tray and you get a door hanger every month. All right, I'm gonna paint, I think these parts I'm gonna paint the blue color.
You want to cut the pinwheels, Tracy? They are so much fun. And they cut like butter. I mean, they're just like super easy because you've got this middle piece and then you've just got the four triangles. So it just kind of makes it easy to assemble. That's what I like about it. But anyway, the tiered tray file that you get every month in the group is a one sheet wonder. And if you guys are familiar with my one sheet wonders, or if you're not familiar with my one sheet wonders, what that means is that um, the entire tiered tray set cuts out in one Glowforge size sheet of wood. So one of the sheets of wood that's like the 12 by 20, every all the pieces are already like in there and fit in that shape. You don't have to move them around or resize them or um, do anything. Everything is ready to just upload to the Glowforge app and go. So that makes it nice, especially if you like to do um, membership sets like kits like DIY kits or paint nights um, or if you just like to know how much you're going to need as far as supplies go to cut something out. It just all cuts out in one set. I cut my um, tiered trays out of eighth inch birch. My door hangers I cut like this one I cut out of quarter inch birch or maple whichever. This is maple. Because I have maple readily on hand. I don't buy as much birch. I actually get a better price on maple where I live. And the maple is a little bit thicker than the birch. So the maple is actually a quarter inch thick, whereas the birch is, I think, a little thinner than a quarter inch, even though it says quarter inch on there. I love patriotic um, projects. I just think they're so bright and cheerful. I actually should have worn a patriotic shirt today. I had my nails painted red. I should have put on a patriotic shirt to go with my project. <laughs> okay, so those are done. And now we're gonna paint the rest. This is a quick little project, y'all. We're gonna paint the rest in red. And um, I think I'm gonna do some polka dots maybe on there. I think that'll be cute. All right, this is True Red by Deco Art Americana. You could change up the lettering on this sign and do um, just something you don't have to do stars and stripes if you want to do different lettering and then you want to still do the pinwheels and you could paint the pinwheels pinwheels whatever color you wanted um, you know you could do them in bright fun summer colors pink and orange and yellow that would be really cute you could do all kinds of things with these pinwheels I'm not looking forward to my dermatology appointment. I don't look forward to any doctor's appointments. I hate them all. <laughs> but that one, I guess you just have to get over your modesty, you know. It is what it is. Why do I why am I more embarrassed at the dermatologist's office than I am at the OBGYN? I don't know why. That's so weird, but I feel like that's worse. They look at everything. It's no fun. See how quick and easy this one is? And of course, if you wanted to paint your wood before you cut, you could always do that and have a red board and a blue board already like painted. I'm just never that organized. I'm not a planner, a planner, a header, not a planner, a header, <laughs> a plan ahead kind of girl. 
with my laser projects. I like to fly by the seat of my pants and just see what inspires me when I'm painting. Um, Joyce, the red is called True Red by Deco Art Americana. You can get it um, at most craft stores. I know Hobby Lobby has it. I know you can get some deco art paint on Amazon, but I think you're limited to like getting a set. And so then you don't get to pick your like individual colors. All right, so there's all that. So if you just wanted to do that, you're done. You just need to put it together. Let me get a baby wipe because I'm messing up my nails. I've just had my nails done and I've got them all messy already. All right, so I'm going to try... Hopefully, I'm going to see if I have a little tiny sponge pouncer that I can use to make my polka dots. Hopefully, I haven't gone through them all and thrown them all away. Because eventually, I throw away my sponge pouncers. I probably need, I really need to, to get more stuff. I need to get more sequins. I need to get a few more sponge pouncers. Okay, that one, that's a little dry and crunchy. Here's one. I think this is the smallest one in there. Is this size. This little bitty guy right here. I think I can probably... I kind of wish it was a little smaller. I don't think I really have anything that I could make. If I had a Q-tip, I could probably do a Q-tip. But I'm not... I don't have a Q-tip. At least not down here. I don't. They're upstairs. So... Let me get some white chalk paint. Yep, Tracy, it's true red. That's my go-to like bright red for everything. Um, that one I use a lot at Christmas and a lot around like the summer patriotic um, projects. All right, I am just pulling out. No, this is not the best way to do this. Because I just ruin my paintbrushes when I do this. But I need a little puddle of white chalk paint. All right, let me see how this goes. If this was a little smaller, it would be better. We'll touch those up. Yeah, we'll just touch up the centers of them with a white Posca pen. I'm going off the edges a little bit because it just makes it look a little more natural when you're doing polka dots. But I just thought this called for polka dots. We're going to neaten those up in a minute. I'm trying to keep my sets of four together. Let that paint dry and then we'll go back and touch them up. This pinwheel in the center is a little bigger than the other two. And you know, the trick with, um, use the end of the handle. Melissa, I thought about that, but then I feel like I have a worse problem with, with not getting a nice solid polka dot. Do you know what I mean? I've done it before though. I've used a pencil eraser too. I think this will work, but yeah, I could probably have done that. And then our last one. All right. That in there. And yep, those are still wet. We need to touch them up though. Maybe I can just do it with a little tiny brush. Um, 
Um, Amber says, yesterday I went to Michael's and they had the bigger boxes of sequins for $5 on clearance. Ooh, I need to go there. I haven't been to Michael's in a while. I will have to go check it out. I think I'm making my issue worse because I don't have my glasses on. I'm not one of these people that can freehand circles. I see people freehand circles all the time, and I am so envious because I don't think my brain does that. That looks better, though. Can anybody on here freehand circles? I'm very jealous if you can. That's a talent I do not have. I always grab the sponge pouncers and do it that way. Martha Stewart has a set of daubers that work really good. Several sizes in the package. Oh, that's good to know. So the hers are better than these ones on Amazon. I will have to go and grab some of those. Does she have little tiny ones for stuff like this? I always feel like I want just one size smaller than comes in this set. Sorry, I'm getting all quiet while I'm trying to paint these circles. It's taking my concentration. Uh, they're not really a sponge, something different. Oh, okay. Huh, interesting. All right, there's that one. One more pinwheel. This one is definitely going on my front door for July 4th. And I gotta find a cute little patriotic doormat to go there too. I have the bicycle door hanger that we made in April in, a, in the membership group hanging on my door now. And I found a cute bicycle doormat at Hobby Lobby um, that I put at my front door as well that goes with it. So that ended up being super cute. Oh, thank you for the link, Tracy. All right. So of course, ideally, I would let those dry, but I'm going to place them carefully on my board because I want y'all to see what this looks like all assembled because I think it's going to be super cute. Um, I'm going to put it. Now, you know what? 
I think I'm going to put it on this one because I don't want people to get confused and think that the file has a shiplap circle in it because this one is smooth. So we'll do this one. And this would be cute with a white backboard as well. All right, let's get these. Okay, so the way this goes together is like so. And what I recommend is laying these down first and then grabbing your little stick pieces and putting them. Oh, no, wait, they're going to go out here because these pieces go in here. Hold on. Hold up. No, not like that, like this. All right, so these pieces have one little end that's flat, and that's the part that goes inside, towards the inside of the pendule. So put all of those in there, and then a little circle in the middle. And then you can figure out where you want to place it so that your stick works and is the right angle for you. Okay, so we want our stick to be straight here. So it's curved to fit the curve of the circle down here at the bottom. So we've got, all right, hold on, that's not straight. Let's do it that way. Okay, there we go, there's that one. And then these are our bigger ones. So again, the flat piece goes towards the center. And then this one has a longer stick. And you have to figure out which way it goes. All right, hold on. I'm going to put this more towards the top. All right, so this one is kind of in the center. And so then you want to move your pinwheel like so. And then there's that one. And and I think what I'm going to do when I when I photograph it, I'm going to move it onto that other circle because I'm not loving the color of this backboard with it. I feel like it just needs to be it's a little too orangey for the for the blue. So I'm probably going to switch it when I take a picture of it. I'm trying to get these so they're kind of spaced evenly like that. And then our little center on this one just like so. So that's how that goes. Uh, what color of paint did you use for the white method of the circle? So for this one, I used milk chocolate. I think. That's espresso. I think it was called milk chocolate. I don't see it right off the top of my head. For some reason, I don't see it in here. Um, sometimes, is this it? Sometimes I use espresso. Yeah, this is it. It's called Milk Chocolate by Deco Art Americana. But I prefer espresso. I just couldn't find the espresso. It was sitting right in front of me. I just didn't see it. This is an 18-inch board, Amy. So in the file, you get an 18-inch version and a 10-inch version. And, of course, you can always, you know, 
change those sizes if you want to yourself. But I just give people, I give everyone as a member an 18 inch version and a 10 inch version. So you don't have to resize if you don't know how to do that. Cause some people are not familiar with how to do that. So that way you've got everything ready for you and you can go ahead and make your project. So that is it guys um, for our project today. And I'm sorry to kind of rush off here, but I do need to go because I've got that doctor's appointment. Um, so if you have any questions, I'll hop back on later and answer them. I really appreciate you joining me today. Um, if you have not joined the membership group, please consider joining. It is so much fun. We just have the best projects coming up. The June projects are so fun. And I am a huge um, fall and Christmas uh, project person. And I just have so many ideas for um, all of the holidays coming up. And we're going to have a lot of fun stuff in the group. So make sure you hop in there so you don't miss any of the projects. And um, thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.